but it should be celebrated every single day, right? Let's do one thing for one moment. Can we have one moment of silence for all the mothers and the grandmothers that we've lost along the way? Can we have one moment of silence, please? Can we have one moment of silence for all that we've lost during this journey? One moment of silence, please. This is for all the mothers. Goddess of the universe, Mother Earth, you were the first. You were there from the beginning, from the cradle to the tomb, the womb that birthed me to life. Spiritually, my mother, my sister, my daughter, my rear, my wife. The most underappreciated creature of God, and your praise is long overdue. Because see, before I was even conscious of a God, I knew mother. Mama knew you. Black queen, I was there when you ruled Egypt from a golden throne. You took the cradle of civilization and you made it your home. Black queen, I was there when you stood by King Solomon's side as all of Jerusalem kneeled at his feet. He had a whole nation in the palms of his hands, but without Queen Sheba, King Solomon was incomplete. Black queen, I was there when the angel Gabriel came to you and told you that you're going to have a son. Blessed is Mary, mother among all mothers from your womb is where we got our savior from. Y'all got us through 400 years of slavery and 100 years of segregation. And you're such a blessing because when you teach a man, you teach an individual. But when you teach a woman, you teach a nation. And you're so amazing that in the 50s, you organized us. In the 60s, you went to jail for the cause. In the 70s, y'all had white women wearing afros. And in the 80s, you became head of the household because the black man had flaws. And despite it all, even in the worst situations, you were able to make it better. See, Medea had to cook and clean and scrub floors and be a nanny, but still came home and raised five children by herself, but somehow managed to keep the family together. Now, round of applause, how many people remember when Big Mama was our doctor? When she was our counselor, could cook a meal without a recipe and tell you what it was missing by taking one little taste. It could discipline you with the switch from the nearest tree. And if you were ashy, y'all didn't hear me. I said if you were ashy, she would take that one thumb and a little bit of spit and wipe that dry spot right off your face. But something has happened to my Eve. Somebody's been whispering in her ear, telling her that sex sells, so you just roll. Physically and morally exposed and on BET and all the other video shows. Now, Black Queen, they looking at you as just another freak show. But despite all the rough edges and beneath all the rubble, I'm still convinced by your touch that if they said one woman turned this world upside down, then a woman can turn it right side up. Look at Venus and Serena. They so bad that they stampeded over the competition like rhinos. And almost every year, they were the last two left. And one sister ended up playing the other sister in the finals. Look at Oprah Winfrey, a self-made billionaire. Harpo had the Lord slot on lock. And the other networks were so scared that they refused to put a decent program on at 9 o'clock. And look at our beautiful sister, Gloria. She's the reason why we are here. And we just thank God Almighty. He blessed a woman like you to be here to celebrate 60 years. This is Black Eyes giving you the presentation of the Black Queen's biography. I love you for your Afrocentricity, Ms. Gloria. And I love you for your spirituality. For you are Mahara. That's that piece. <laughs> love y'all, love y'all. And we are here celebrating. Give it up for my man DJ Kenny G on the ones and the twos. My man DJ Kenny G called me up and he was like, Ice man, we need a place, we need a building, we need something to celebrate this queen's birthday and to see it all come together and to see it all happen. And this ain't nothing but God. And you got one of the best days in Chicago. It's been cold and it's been rainy and it's been wet, but look at God today. Beautiful day today. So let's do this right quick. How many old school people in the house tonight? A round of applause. We got some old school people in the house. 
What's the loudest side of the banquet hall? Is it everybody over here makes some noise?
y'all so much, y'all. I'm Black Eyes Dead sometimes. I know. Man. Y'all ready? If Marvin Gaye was here right now, Marvin Gaye.